Hello everyone, what have you learned today? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and in this video, you will learn a lot about how the words are made with Farah from 19DB. Have you ever heard the word anti-disestablishmentarianism? This word might sound unusual to you, but this word is real. Can you imagine how those alphabets are arranged into a form of a noun? If we are talking about how the words are produced, there are different ways to create a word. For example, reduplication, shortening, root creation, to derivational affixes. For your information, the word anti-disestablishmentarianism created by the help of affixes. The process of it called derivational affixes. Derivational affixes is a way of word forming which use affixes to create a new word and also change its word class. Talking further about affixes, it consists of three affixes based on their location or position. First of all, prefix. It is located before the root. The examples are on as in unhappy, b as in bilingual, and etc. Second, infix. Infix which added inside the root. As an example, as in spoonsful. And last is suffix. It is placed after the root. As example, er in writer, and able in readable, and etc. As what I've mentioned before, derivational affixes also able to change the word class. Now, let's take a look to these examples. Let's begin with the word drinkable. The root of this word is drink, then able as suffix is added. Now, we have drink as the root and able as the suffix. The word class of this word also change. Previously, drink stand alone as a verb, but shortly after suffix was added, it becomes an adjective. Let's move to another example, which is singer. The root of this word is sing, then er as a suffix is added. Now we have sing as the root and er as the suffix. And then the word class of this word also change. If previously sing stand alone as a verb, then now after added by suffix er, now it becomes a noun. Now let's pick another word as example. This time I would like to choose the word personally and let's break it down. The root of this word is personal, then the suffix which is ly is added. Now we have personal as the root and ly as the suffix. And then, just like the previous example, the word class of this word also change. If previously personal stand alone as an adjective, now after the suffix ly added, it becomes an adverb. Let's take a flashback a bit to the longest word I've said before. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. So, what happened to this word? It's time to break down the longest word in this video. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Establishmentarian is the adjective and stand as the root of this term. Next, the first suffix, which is ism, is added to the root. So now the word becomes establishmentarianism. The suffix ism represents a specific practice, system, philosophy, or ideology. Now, the second step is adding the first prefix, which is this. This prefix shows not or not. And now the word become disestablishmentarianism. And lastly, the third step or the final step is adding the final prefix, 
which is anti. That means opposite or contradictory. So now the word becomes anti disestablishmentarianism. Just like the previous example, the word class of this word is also shifting. If the first form of the word is establishmentarian, stand as an adjective, then after added with some prefix and suffix, now it becomes an adverb. Learning affixes is really beneficial for you. It makes you guess the meaning of new words you find and construct new forms of words successfully. Not only that, word guessing games can also help you to develop your self-awareness. So, what do you learn from this video? Does it inspire you to learn more about it? Please let me know by giving some comments below. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Goodbye!